Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, it's Monica and today we filmed a grunge eye look or a grunge eye glam, whichever you want to call it I was inspired by Jamie Genevieve she is a very popular YouTuber and I follow a lot of her tutorials but hers was very different actually when I say inspired, I mean I saw some colors and I said damn, I'm feeling those right now she also called her video grunge glam but it was kind of just a different composition of colors altogether but I definitely will link her video down below so you can go check it out because it inspired me. When I was picking out what I was going to do this week, it was between the grunge look and a smokier uh, fox eye. But because I just did the fox eye last week, I was like, you know, let's give you guys a break and let's move on to something different. And so I decided to do a halo eye version of James Genevieve's grunge eye and I really like how it turned out. So I hope you guys enjoy the look as well, and if you do, then like this video and subscribe down below to see more content on my channel. Without further ado, let's get into the video. So the first thing we're gonna go in with today, as usual, is my favorite moisturizer, the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Pink Juice Moisturizer. That is a handful of words every single time, and I will continue to say it. It's literally so refreshing. I can't. This is the Smith's Strawberry Lip Balm. If you're new to my channel, this is one of my favorites. I definitely recommend it. Now I'm going in with my Too Faced Born This Way concealer. This is in the shade Nude, and I'm gonna apply this on my eyes. I'm gonna take my foundation brush and buff this out. Now that that's done, I'm going to go into my Morphe 9C palette. This is a jewel tone palette. Let me just give you the actual name. It's called Jewel Crew 9C. Um, and this is what it looks like. So what I noticed looking through the grunge eye looks is that they use a lot of um, orange, auburn, burnt orange colors. And I was like, I don't know which palette has that. It's one right here. So we're going to go into that. I found myself quite drawn to this puffy brush recently. And I just feel like it makes doing these things much easier. I'm going to be going into this brown color here, Chocolate Diamond, and brushing it onto my lid. We're just trying to carve out our crease. But then it just gets everywhere. And that is what I want to do with certain colors. So it just saves me a lot of time, to be honest. And everything's just so seamlessly blended. Once that is done, I'm going into this burnt orange color up here. This is called the shade Rock Out. And with a thinner brush, I'm placing that above the brown. Like that. And I'm pulling it out. Going outwards like that. Then I'm going to go back into the same color over here, the chocolate diamond. And I'm going to go right under that. Then I'm going to go into this center color here, it's called Hidden Gem, and I'm going to put this in my outer corner. I really want to deepen the edges. Alright, so the next item that I'm going to go in with is the Essence Metal Shock Eyeshadow, and I mentioned in my last video that I could not find the shade name for this, but I looked a little harder on the barcode and it's actually there. So this is shade number one and it's called Solar Explosion which makes sense because it is blinding like the sun. And I'm trying to stay into the center. Then with my finger, I'm gonna pat the product in. Then I'm gonna go back in with the same dark color that I was using before, Hidden Gem. And with the same thin brush, I'm going to clean up the sides of the shimmer. And do the inner corner as well. Then with the same brush, I'm going to go into Chocolate Diamond again, and I'm going to outline underneath my eyes. Then I'm going to go into the Essence Extreme Lasting Waterproof Liner, and this is in the shade number 2, uh, but first Espresso. And I'm going to start by doing my inner corner, and then pulling this side as well. Now I am going to apply my lashes, and I will be right back. So once I have applied my lashes, and these are the Huda Beauty lashes in Scarlet, by the way, beautiful pair, um, I'm going to move on into my mascara. And I'm going to be using the Benefit Bad Gal Bang Mascara. This is the limited edition one, and it's pink, and I love it. 
and I'm going to be doing my lower lashes. And I'm also going to be doing my upper lashes to make sure that they don't stick out under the lash that I applied. And then we're going to move on into the face. So first thing that I'm going to do is take my foundation and I use the Huda Beauty Faux Filter Foundation. I am in the shade Toasted Coconut. This is full coverage, you guys. This is very full coverage. And I'm just going to put some onto my hand and I'm going to take it with my finger and place it in the areas that I would like to cover. Then I'm taking a dry beauty blender and I'm going to be patting out this product. I'm still super on the fence about beauty blenders. I mean, sometimes I like them, sometimes I really don't. I feel like it takes away from the coverage and I'm just a brush girl in general. I've been using the same brush forever um, and I'm, I'm happy with it. So, you know, why change things up? But I do like that you can get through more of the face with this quicker and just the finish that it gives it is nice, I guess. But I find myself going over it with a brush afterwards because I don't feel like I'm done until I've done that. Once I've done that, I'm going to go back into my concealer, the Born This Way concealer in the shade Nude, and I'm going to apply it underneath my eyes. Then I'm going to take the Huda Beauty Easy Bake Powder and Sugar Cookie and apply this under my eyes to set it. Then I'm going to snatch my face with this baby right here, and she's the Huda Beauty Tan Tour in the shade Fair. This is illusion and a cream. This is how I sculpt these non-existent cheekbones. Even if you're gonna use a lot of product with this, I recommend starting with a little and building up so you can get as smooth of a result as possible. And I'm going to pull my eye out with this as well. Just enhance that lift. I'm gonna go on my forehead as well and under my nose. And sculpt my nose as well. And then I'm going to do my jaw, and very slightly under the lip. Once that's done, I'm going to go into the Dior Backstage Contour Palette, and I'm going to go into the shade Deep, which is this darkest shade right here. And I'm going to take a fluffy buffering brush, and just brush that to set the contour. And I'm going to go into a blush, and I'm using the Milani Bakes Blush in Rose Doro. And I'm going to take the same brush, and I'm going to buff this into my cheeks. I'm in a race against time right now because my camera is about to die. Then I'm taking the Kylie Cosmetics Highlight in the shade Santorini. And with the product that's on the lid, I'm going to highlight my cheekbones. How blinding is that? And with my finger, I'm just going to place a little bit on my nose and on the bridge of my nose, like so, as well as right above my lip. Then I'm going to go into a Kylie Cosmetics lipstick, and this is in the shade Puppy Love. Such a cute name. And it looks like this. It's a nice, beautiful pink. And I'm going to top it with the KKW Gloss in the shade Juicy. And this is the finished look. I am obsessed, and I hope that you like it as much as I do. If you do like this look, then give this video a thumbs up and subscribe down below to see future content on my channel. You can also follow me on Instagram at Monica Abdullahian to see my IGTV tutorials, which are a lot more fast-paced and short, and other content as well. I won't spoil anything. You gotta go check it out to see. I will see you guys in my next video. Have a great week. Bye!